Tell us what made you want to bring the camp to Indiana. Well, bat camps, more than anything, are like my passion. You know, I've done a lot of them in the Texas area, but it's my first time doing it in Indianapolis. You know, I was able to work with Flex Work Academy, Razor Canes, able to help me put all this on. So I'm glad I found a ring to go to my market, been here for you know, my second home, eight years now. I've read in the past that you like to do a lot of life skills at your camps too. What's kind of the reason that you're so passionate about that part of it? Well, basketball should be the fun part, right? But then as kids are growing up and whatnot, you, you learn to use basketball as a tool. I'm just trying to, I don't know, stay on their heads at a young age, just how to treat people, you know what I mean? How to treat people with respect. And I think I feel like it doesn't really grasp the younger kids, but the kids that are going into college, the kids that are coming, you know, out of their high school experience, they start to understand it a bit more as they go to the real world. I don't know if you saw them when you came in. One of the big heroes has been you for a while, Tyrese is the other. What does that kind of mean to you? Part of your brand here the city's embracing me, man. And uh, just like I've embraced them, I feel that same love you know, coming back right back to me. I said I've been here for years and one night, and uh, it really is my second home at this point. You know, I grew up here. Get a while back then. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you hope these kids take away in general? Not only being around the pro in the city, yeah, man, that's possible. There's so much to basketball, right? There's so many jobs around basketball. You don't just have to be a player. You can be in the front office. You can be a ball boy. You can be a scout. There's so many you know, opportunities that come with basketball itself. And I just want to try to instill in everybody that it's possible to make it, you know, no matter where you're from. You talked basically at the end of the season, you talked a lot about what this summer could do for you, basically. Both as a player and as a person and the things you be able to do. Uh, you're going to be healthy, too, that you knew you're going to be in the same place. Uh, just, what's it been like? I mean, has it been as rewarding a summer as you hope Absolutely, it's be? man. I feel like uh, very well traveled this summer, as I'm sure a lot of people have seen. I try to post my experiences to help people kind of live by care as they know me. I feel like I really took care of my mental. You know, I spent the beginning of the summer training in Denver for a month and a half. It's just a different change of scenery, a different environment, just a, I don't know, a different aspect of training. I never kind of like took seriously, you know, with the breathing and whatnot. So. That was probably my favorite place I've been all summer. I've been all over the place, but getting that time to myself, getting that time to just really refocus and recenter was dope. And, you know, you work hard, play hard. I got to have some fun, you know, with my peoples and whatnot, and uh, get out, try new experiences. And, you know, right back to work, man. Seats right on the court. One of the biggest things we talked about was the defense. With the new upgrades, how do you have you started to think defensively? What you guys could look like with with you, Bruce, and You have to. I think we definitely got bigger. We added a uh, you know, championship mindset of Bruce Brown. You know, he's coming fresh off the ship. And he could have gone anywhere this summer. He chose to come here and build with this group. That speaks a lot to his character and what he can bring to this team. And, um, you know, I, would, I honestly was just with Chad uh, Buchanan last night. We're at the, uh, the Nike Skills Academy out in Portland. That's the first thing we talked about. You know, what's our defense and uh, how we're tool, uh, tooling this roster, you know, around it this year. You know, can you be a top 15 defense? You know, lots of players. That's why I was bringing all over. How else do you think you guys got better when you look at the whole of it, you know, adding Obi, adding Bruce, and also adding Jarris and then uh, from the draft, I mean, just, just how else do you think this team got better? Yeah, on well, paper, I think we definitely got better. Now, as a matter of fact, they're just gelling everything, and that's what the training guys are so important for. Uh, these uh, preseason games are so important. Um, I love what we've done. You know, I feel like we definitely got faster, more athletic, and uh, you know, Tari's going to thrive at this. You know, we're all watching it right now. We're going to get World Cup. We'll make sure we get some love. You know. It's going to be a good experience for them. You know, I had an opportunity to do that a couple years ago. You know, so let's kind of see just a different um, style of basketball over there. And I think getting that and come right to the season, you can obviously make a jump on it. So I think it's a good one. We talked about your other travels. I guess just tell, tell me more about what that did for you between the, um, the Fashion Week and I know there was, uh, I guess it was Comic Con and you know, what else was there and, and what those experiences? Yeah, I mean, you know, I got to go to Milan. Uh, got to go to like really six different cities in Italy. You know, that was amazing just to see how other cultures live. You know, I just want to immerse myself in their environment for a little bit. Um, was able to go to Hawaii at the, you know, the uh, beginning of the summer. You know, so of course, there's no other fires, but I was actually in Maui. I got to see a lot of that. So. And everything is right up there. Uh, I went to Turks and Caicos, went to Cayman Islands, you know, I went to San Diego, you know, from Comic Con, and uh, you know, a couple of under undisclosed places. But you know, <laughs> I had some fun. Man. You talked a little bit about the style changes for this team. How do you see you guys playing a little differently next year to take the next step as the Pacers? Well, like I said, we always want to play fast. We know we're going to be great offensively, but defensively is what we're going to try to make our mark this season, you know, especially the beginning of the season. So um, I love how fast we're going to be. That's my biggest thing. As a five, I like to get out and run. I like to be able to spread the floor. And um, you know, the new acquisition, I think it's all possible. What have you thought of Jarrett so far, including Summer League? I like his mentality. I really think that he's coming into this and that uh, the youthful exuberance, the youthful exuberance is actually very important to the locker room. Like kind of the fresh mindset he brings into it. So he's just having fun with a lot of things, but like he kind of turns it on when he needs to. Uh, I tell people a lot, he kind of reminds me of the old team and my daddy is young. He's kind of a utility guy. He walks in and do a little bit of everything. For him, it's going to be funny, you know, the two things that he does great. When he comes out here, you know, to uh, 
training camp in the season, he's gonna be able to find himself. I got a look at man. Ben Shepard, uh, Ben Shepard, you know, I like the way he shoots the ball. And I was able to you know, get a look at him during uh, some league. I was able to I watched him, you know, with his, uh, his run with Miami, you know, during the, uh, uh, the March Madness and whatnot. So I think they all bring, like, different aspects. It's gonna be a really fun training camp. And you think you got better at Denver? Sorry, guys. This is the last. Yeah, I think you want to get the camp started. How do you think you got better as a player in Denver? Where you talked a lot about just being healthy and not having to worry about rehab and being able to just improve the game. How do you think you're improving? How do you think you're a better player? Now I think I've gotten better, obviously, with my health. I've been improving my body and, uh, as opposed to trying to like play catch up on the field. And then mentally, bro, mentally, I think I just uh, was more control of myself, more control of my environment, more control of the people around me. It's just uh, it's all coming together. You know? Time. So really excited for this year. I'm looking forward to uh, you know, what we'll be able to build individually. I'm going to discuss that.